What's going on? Merry Christmas, all that good stuff. I'm Ox, and this video is in response to one Euphosaur did, and it's called Christmas Tags. And uh, there's about 10 questions asked about Christmas and I will get into those and then tag a few other people that I'd like to see do this kind of uh, questionnaire type thing as well. Um, getting into it, if you want to check the questions out, they're in the description as well. So let's get into it. Just a funner video just to uh, tide you guys over to the new year. I have some bigger plans. Um, Mainly detailing my comic, but we'll get to those next year when it rolls around. So, question number one: favorite Christmas movie has to be Die Hard. Um, is there really any other Christmas movies? Don't think so. Die Hard, number one. If I'm not watching uh, the Assault on Nagasaki Tower, I don't give a shit. Question number two. When do you guys open presents? Um, typically Christmas Eve. Um, I would be fine with opening them on Christmas, but I have two nephews that cannot wait to open them. Usually we see them Christmas Eve or when we get together for family, so we should go ahead and open presents then. Favorite Christmas memory? Um, I know this is gonna sound cheesy, but I think every year Every Christmas, when I get to see all my friends, we get together, share some drinks, share some food, share some cookies, and enjoy the holidays. Like, typically my favorite holiday. Um, my favorite Christmas memory. This year, got together. Um, after we went all out for Thanksgiving, cooking on hog leg and everything like that, we decided to take it a little easier. Decided to do a taco bar. Um, we were hoping for a nacho fountain, didn't completely come through on that. We wanted margaritas, didn't happen to do that. But we had a household of friends and just got caught up in everybody's lives and just enjoyed each other's company. Typically the best part of the holidays for me is just getting to see my friends. I don't see them as often as I'd love to, but getting together when I can definitely is worth it. Um, favorite festive food. Um, this is going to sound really strange. Um, so you know Scotcheroos. Um, they're basically Rice Krispies with chocolate frosting I guess. My mother took Dino Bites which are just the cheaper version of Fruity Pebbles and like they're my favorite cereal only because like Fruity Pebbles are way too sugary. They are just too much to handle. So with Dino Bites it definitely takes the sugar out of it and just makes it like a slightly flavored Fruity Pebbles. Uh, but she added like a cup to like six cups of Rice Krispies when she made rice or uh, when she made Scotch Roos and it turned out phenomenal. Um, it's basically Scotch Roos and it kind of tastes like just a hint of orange and just makes it perfect. Number five question is my favorite Xmas gift I ever received. Um, it's pretty simple and not that big a deal but about five years ago uh, my dad was having some kidney problems 
dealing with his health and whatnot. Um, he had cellulitis. They put him on these heavy, and I mean heavy, um, antibiotics, and it actually almost came very close to shutting down his kidney. So um, we were in the hospitals from about October to middle of January, trying to get his kidney sorted out and get him back to health. He is one that collects a lot of pens. And I mean, if there's pens sitting on your desk and you're a bank or somewhere that just has a bunch of disposable pens, he will grab a handful of them. I don't think he's ever used in a pen to its entirety to need a refill, but he does. So he had this really nice pen, and I mean, fancy pen. Um, I looked for one like it. I think it's called a Danny Trio. Um, not quite a fountain pen, but it's a roller pen and it's the nicest pen I ever used. Um, since we were in the hospital a lot and blah blah blah, typically I don't ask for Christmas presents. Just don't need them. I have a great life. I love it. Everything about it. Um, but he had this pen that was really fantastic. And after spending about three months in hotels and trying to get these um, kidneys restored to their former glory, all I asked was for this pen. And I know he enjoyed it. I mean, it was a very fancy pen. Um, but when Christmas came and everybody got their presents, he was kind of like, well, I think there's something left for you, and he handed me the pen, and it was honestly one of my favorite moments, let alone uh, Christmas friends I ever received. Six is my favorite Christmas scent. Um, I don't know if I necessarily have a scent. I mean, peppermint, I used to drink peppermint schnapps a lot back in the day, so that's not an entirely favorite one. Um, but I'd say Kringla. I'd say my mom making her special recipe Kringla is probably one of my favorite memories and my favorite scent because her Kringla are the bomb. Do we have any ex Christmas traditions? Um, not necessarily. I'm hoping that my friend Christmas, we stick doing this taco bar because the success of it was through the roof. It was fantastic. Um, I'd say every Christmas I get to, together with another group of friends. Uh, it's actually one of my friend's birthday on Christmas. So we celebrate her birthday more than we do Christmas. Um, other than that, Christmas Eve with family. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, what type of tree? It's a little star. We have a two foot, two foot tree. Um, now for the new apartment, it's just a little bitty tree that light, or a little star that lights up. One crazy gift you asked for but never received. As far as I know, nobody's gotten me a, pay, a Tokyo Ghost um, original art page, like a page that was used in the actual issues. Um, I'm not asking for that because honestly it's insane. Um, one of the pages run typically about 500, 600 bucks on the low end. Um, totally worth it, but um, I've got Sean Gordon Murphy's autograph on a few different things. Um, I have a little sketch by him, so it's not a necessity. It would just be something very fucking cool to hang on my wall though. Um, and obviously he's inspired me through the roof, especially you can see that on issue 6 for sure of my own comic. I never forgot getting that plug in. Um, but yeah, it'd be something awesome to hang on the wall, but I wouldn't want any of my friends to spend a ludicrous amount of money on me like that. And what's the best part of Christmas? Easily getting together with friends, friends and family, and getting together for the holidays, enjoying each other's company. Um, just the best part of it. Um, I love everybody I have in my life, so getting to talk to any of them face-to-face -face is the best. Talking to them over Twitter 
if I have any communication with my friends and family, it means the world to me because I've surrounded myself with such incredible people that they truly are the best gift that I could keep asking for every year. That's going to do it for this video. Um, like I said, you can check the questions down below. Do it for yourself. Um, there's three people that I would definitely love to see this video made also for their channels. But um, that's going to be Gaz, Mike, and Jan. Uh, you can check their links to their channels down below. Um, they are a, a, f a handful of the 100 Days of Making Comics with guys. Um, I love their art, all their stuff. I'd love to hear about their holiday traditions, but that's going to do it for this video. Um, I know this is a day later and actually going to be on Christmas, but that's because I'm not going to edit it while it's Christmas Eve because I have friends and family out there waiting for me and I figured I could take a few minutes. But also, check out Youthsaur's channel if you haven't already. I will link That will be the first link down below. Um, it'll be to her Christmas tags video as well. Um, I think she has a special video coming up uh, for her Christmas vlogs. Um, it might be her Christmas Eve video. We'll see. Um, but definitely check out her channel. I will link a couple of her videos. She's awesome and great vlogger. I can't say enough good things about her because I love her content. But that's going to do it for me. I hope everybody's Christmas is treating them so well. Love you guys, and I will check in with you in the next few days. The next video will definitely be tomorrow, so hang in there. Later.